And what is up you guys? David here with Bubba's Living Emporium. Today we are going to be doing a shipping video. This right here is seven Black Galaxy fish bones headed out to Brandon Perez. Uh, follow him on Instagram. There's a tag. Um, yeah, we're just going to go over shipping, how we ship these. Those were uh, breather bags. Um, allows the exchange of CO2 and oxygen through the plastic, so it's perfect. After we get that done, tie it off. We're going to fold it into newspaper. I'll show you guys how we do that real quick. The way you want to fold it is kind of like a burrito, like a stuffed burrito. California burrito. Yeah, I'm hungry. Anyway, so you want to fold it like this. Um, kind of keep it tight. This is to insulate the bag. Um, stop it from getting like punctured or anything. That way there's like no leaks throughout the whole shipment process. And it also kind of just keeps all the nasty insulation off the bag that way it's kind of hassle-free um, I secure each newspaper that I wrap onto it with a little piece of tape I can use uh, multiple newspapers but this newspaper was kind of heavy so I only needed uh, one extra newspaper but instead of watching me kind of go through that all again I'll fast forward it a little for you guys cue music Bam, voila. Here is the box. Um, I work at kind of like a shipping company. Well, it's an aerospace company, but we get free boxes. So I just take some home every once in a while. Um, it's insulation in the bag. I use styrofoam on the sides, bottom and top, just um, during winter months. Give it that extra insulation. Um, you kind of want to put the shrimp burrito kind of in the middle of the insulation in between everything. That way... Um, if the box is dropped, kicked, you know FedEx, playing soccer with the boxes, um, it's going to be in the middle. It's not going to absorb straightly or straight, <laughs> directly absorb the impact of any blow. And then I kind of put it in halfway, fill up the top, stuff on the bottom. You kind of just want to compress this, keeps it insulated. Um, the only thing you want to stay away from when shipping shrimp, uh, it takes like two to three days. You do overnight. But the thing to stay away from is drastic changes. This is why we use insulation. Because if the temperature drops kind of low, we can still ship in like a little above freezing, a little below. It's just we have to make sure the changes aren't going to be drastic. So if there's no insulation, temperature changes. There's nothing to keep it like at a steady temperature. That's when you get uh, massive die-offs, um, bad DOA. But this process, I've only ever had three DOA with um, DOA's dead on arrival, for those of you who do not know. And this way is honestly foolproof. Um, you're going to get DOA's regardless with stress, but this will minimize anything, I guess, negative that can come from a shipment. Plastic business cards, yo. I always include like um, stickers, my business card, and now we have food samples from Mucha. Um, it's a great food. It stays in your tank for a little bit if you have uh, like a small amount of shrimps. So, I mean, they'll have it for a couple days, but honestly, it's a great food. Your shrimp will like just fight each other over it. Honestly, that's all we're going to do for this box Shipping out another box, but that's just like a care package to one of my favorite shrimp hobbyists. You know who you are. Wink, wink. Um, this is just like an information, uh, informational video for people who don't know or haven't yet tried to ship and were wondering how. Um, this kind of goes over the rough guidelines. Thank you guys for watching the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, go follow my Instagram, Bubba's underscore emporium go check out the facebook page we're still running that giveaway guys almost at 300 likes thank you